ऑपरेशन ने You go to school. What do you do there? At the school? Huh? Speak loudly. All can hear. You? I can't hear. Do you hear what he says? What he says? What do they say? I can't find. Learn about Krishna. Learn about Krishna. So, who is Krishna? Personality of God. Have you seen him? No. Then how to learn? Huh? Huh? Yeah. Oh, you see in the downstairs temple, isn't it? Oh. You can see anywhere, only you see there. Huh? In the temple. Isn't it? That's all. You come. Go, sit down. What's your name? Bhimal Prasad. That's all. Do you see Krishna? Do you see Krishna? Yeah. Where do you see? Everywhere. Everywhere. Painting. Huh? Painting. Paintings? Yeah. Oh. Downstairs. Downstairs? Upstairs? In the garden? Your garden cannot see. Oh. Only you see in the downstairs and here in the paintings. Acha, acha. Acha. Krishna is there only downstairs or in the paintings. He is nowhere, isn't it? Huh? I see him there, but he is everywhere. He is everywhere. Acha. But you can see it. Do you want to see him? Huh? How can you see him? <laughs> you don't know. Acha, acha. Don't your teacher teach this thing? I don't. I'm not. I don't. Um, I'm not in school here. Anyhow, you are in the school. What is that different between my school and this school? Is that any difference? Huh? Mm. What I? What is this? No, no, please. <laughs> <laughs> Why have you got this hand? Huh? To serve Krishna. How can you serve Krishna with the hand? Okay. Offering things. You want to use this hand for yourself. Huh? I do. You do? You say only to serve Krishna. What do you do with your hand? Eat prasad. Eat prasad. <laughs> So why have got what is this? Leg. Leg. What do you do with the leg? Walk. walk on that. You walk. Walk on that. <laughs> walk. Jump. Walk and jump. Walk and jump. Dance also. Dance also. Acha. Hmm. Why do you dance? To please Krishna. To please Krishna. Acha. If you walk, where do you walk? Huh? Or Rata. Otherwise you won't walk. I will. You walk? Huh? I will say only Prabhu Rata. Huh? What is this? Eye. Eye. What do you do with the eye? You see Krishna? Don't you see this house? Don't you see me? Don't you see them? I do. Then only to see Krishna? Krishna and Huh? Everyone. Everyone. You see Krishna as well as everyone, isn't it? Mm. Achha, why do you get educated? Why do you go to school? To learn about Krishna. To learn about Krishna. You don't. Don't you learn anything other than Krishna? Yes, sir. Huh? 
history and science. Then what you learn those history and science? Six seven graphs. Ah? Six seven graphs. Be clever. Be, be, to, to be clever. What is that clever? Cleverness. Huh? What is that cleverness? Huh? You don't know? Okay. You can't say. All right. Go there. Mm-hmm. You can. This. Yeah, yeah. What's your name? अच्छा यो रिटिन योर नेम द बेस्ट इट हियर सम ऑल इन नो एम राधारानी दासी हु इज राधारानी हां हु इज राधारानी इन नन से नो हु इज राधारानी देन हाउ हाउ विल बी हाउ विल बी हर दासी अच्छा कृष्णमयी दासी तो वो इज कृष्णमयी हाँ हाँ वो इज कृष्ण दाह क्या नहीं हुई और दासी हाँ श्री राधरानी वो इज राधरानी Krishna's concert. Okay. You are Pardas. Isn't it? Do you see her? Yeah. Where do you see? In the temple. Only in the temple. You yeah. can't see her anywhere else. Okay. In the paintings. Only in the temple, in the paintings, and you can't see her anywhere else. Isn't it? So only you serve in the temple and in the paintings. You can't serve her anywhere else. Isn't it? Um, how huh? um, in books. 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 How can you serve her in the books? Because they have pictures of her in the books. Oh, oh to see only the pictures. Hmm? Mm-hmm. All right, go. Oops, huh? मायापुर दास मायापुर दास सीन मायापुर सीन मायापुर अभी गौन दे I lived there once. Oh, once you lived there, not you are not now there. So, so what is that place? Why is that place is noted for? Can you understand? Huh? Yes. Huh? Can say. All right, I'll tell you a story. You want to learn your story? Yes, sir. 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 Yes, sir
Hả? Cho nên nó bỏ đi Vì cuối nuôi đâu kiếm Hả? They don't call him the king. Huh? It's not called the king. No, my question is, if there will be no king, how can a lady will be called queen? Huh? If there will be no husband, how can a lady will be called wife? Huh? Can? Can she be called like that? Then? If there is king, so there is queen. King's wife is queen. Isn't it? Huh? Anyhow. <laughs> so once there was a king, very powerful king, wise, learned king, he had one son. Hmm? What is the son of the king called? That's right. Prince. Yes. What is the daughter of this king called? Princess. Very good. Achha. So, that prince was very naughty boy. Very naughty boy. Huh? Like you. You are naughty. <laughs> and he liked to be engaged always in playing. And he was very whimsical. Whatever occurs to his mind, he does. Once he said to his father, I want to play with the monkeys. Isn't it? You want to play with the monkey? Sir? Huh? Are you playing now? You want to play? You, once you are playing with the monkey? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Toy monkey, toy monkey. Oh, in Belgium. He's from Belgium. Anwar. Acha, acha, acha. Is the toy monkey or real monkey? A real monkey. Which, uh, uh, all right, all right. <laughs> so, he wanted to talk, play with the monkeys, told his father. So many monkeys were brought. Some young monkeys, some old monkeys. Then sang. Some monkeys brought. Then he said, no, I... Also need some sheep. They know sheep. Huh? You know sheep? Huh? So I will play with both monkeys and sheep. So a flock of sheep was also there. And there's a playing ground, playground, big ground was there, fenced, nice ground. Mm. So every day that prince used to go there with the monkeys and sheep to play there. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Have you heard this story? No. All right. So, in that out of sheep, you see, there was a very ah, wicked sheep. Mm -hmm. Very wicked. And just close by, close by that playground, there are the kitchen. Do you understand? Have you seen kitchen? Huh? Mm. So, cooks are there, they are cooking food in the kitchen. Mm. They cook food with the, their fireplaces there. Generally, they burn this wood, log of wood, fuel. Mm. Here, they don't burn wood. They cook with gas, I think. But they were cooking with wood. Mm -hmm. But that wicked sheep, mm, every day enters into that kitchen. You understand? The head cook used to beat him. You understand? Just uh, drives him out. Mm. 
when they were burning the wood, the cook used to beat that sheep with the burning wood. You understand? In the, mm, the group of that monkeys, there was an old monkey. Do you understand? An old monkey. He is old, experienced, and he is the master of the monkey. Mm. Once that old monkey called the old monkeys and said that, Oh, imminent danger is there for us. It is better on our part we should leave this place as soon as possible. Do you understand? Do you understand me? All right. But other monkeys say, no, we won't leave. We are nicely taken care of here. It's king's palace. Mm. We are provided the nice fruit. Mm. Nice food. Everything very nice. Why shall we leave and go to the jungle and jump from one tree to another tree? But we are playing with the prince here. We won't leave. Then that old monkey said, if you want to leave, but uh, you should uh, understand that uh, imminent danger is there. If, if you want to listen to my words, you'll be put into most dangerous situation where you may live your life, live your body, you'll die. Such danger is there. Do you understand? But they didn't listen. He told them repeatedly, but didn't listen. Mm. He said, that, You see this, this that wicked sheep is entering into the kitchen, that cook is beating him with a burning fuel. One day, uh, the fuel, the fire will catch the power of sheep. Do you understand this? Far. Hmm? Then that sheep will run into the close by stable. Do you understand stable? But the horses are there. King has, has many horses. Eh? And there is a heap of straw. Do you understand? And so he would roll on the heap of straw. Then the heap of straw would catch fire. Then whole stable will do you understand? Then, when the stable will burn, hmm, then these horses will be also burn some hmm, burning wound will be there on their bodies. Do you understand? Then the king will order to kill you all, the monkeys. Do you understand? Then kill king will kill you all. You should be killed. You should understand what I say. You face this danger. But they say, we won't listen to you. You are an old monkey, an old hagar. Your brain is not working nicely. Old man's brain is dull brain. Not working nicely. We won't listen. Then it's all right. You won't listen to me. I won't go. I am leaving. So he left. You understand? He left. And what old monkey had said, that came true. Once that head cook mm, uh, bet that wicked monkey, I am say wicked sheep with the burning wood and the fire cut off mm, whole body. Uh, his father was burning, so he rushed into that. Mm, stable and rolled and the heap of the straw, the whole heap straw that burnt and whole stable was burnt. Then the horses were also burnt. When such thing took place, horses were very valuable than the monkey and sheep. Do you understand? So then king told them, mm, mm, the king asked the physicians, he called for the physicians, doctor, doctors came. What should be done? My 
horses were now burned, some burning wound are there, how they would kill them. The doctor says there is no medicine for it, but one medicine is there. If you can get such medicine, then the burning wound of the horses would be healed up. What is that medicine? If you can get the fat available from the monkeys, market survey, fat available from the monkeys, that was the medicine or to heal up the burning wound of horses, no other medicine. So King Order kill all these monkeys and get fat from them. So all the monkeys are killed. Do you understand? Fat was collected. So medicine was prepared. Then physician applied that medicine and the body of the horses and their burning wound was healed. Do you understand? This is story. What do you learn from this story? Yes. You say. Huh? Believe the olders. Old man is old man Hagar. His brain is dark. Why shall you believe? Old man. Huh? Huh? Can anybody say? Yes? I can't hear. Speak loudly. He was They're saying that he was older than the other monkeys. Yes. You have to respect. You have to respect the old. Isn't it? Achha. If old man is a pagal, mad, merciful person, can you respect him? Will you respect him? Huh? Huh? Sometimes. You don't respect the young ones. Huh? Do you also respect the young ones? Huh? What he says, I can't. He's saying that because he's very young, huh? uh, a young per- a young man or something is still senior to him, so he still respects him. Oh, respect the senior person. Hmm, achha. You don't respect junior person. No. <laughs> so, what do you learn from this story? Don't rest. Only respect the holders. Huh? What do you learn? Can't say anybody. Anybody? Girls group? Huh? You say? Can you say? Yes, yes. Can you say? What do you learn from the story? Huh? Yes? Respect. What do you mean by this saying respect? Listen to them. What do they say? You should do. Huh? If they would say, enter into the fire, will you do it? Then, what is um, what is his respect? Like, like no, no, no. My question, you respect, you learn from the story to respect the old man. And respect means what do they say, I'll do. If the Old person will say, enter into the fire. Will you enter into the fire? Then, what sort of respect you offer? If you can't obey all these words, yes? What she says? You can do whatever you can to please them. You do what you can to please your elders. Yes. He will be pleased if you enter into the fire. Then, why you want to enter into the fire? Huh? He said, enter into the fire. If you want to please him, you must enter into the fire. Otherwise, I will be pleased. Huh? Yeah? Huh? 
What is this? He said if you went into the fire, you would die, so you would never be pleased. If you die, you will be pleased. Then why don't you die? Why not prepare to die? If you want to please that old man, <laughs> if you die, entering into the fire, you die, then old man will be pleased. Huh? Then, that means you have something to think of. If I can do, then I will die. That means, uh, let him be displeased, why shall I die? Huh? Huh? Yes? So, you will do what will be pleasing to you, not pleasing to him, I think so. Huh? It will be dangerous to your body. Your body will be dead, finished. So, you will do, you will carry out his order that will be pleasing to your body, not pleasing to him. This is conditional, I think. Huh? Sometimes you will think of what order is giving. If it is very good for me, for my body, okay, then I will do. Otherwise, I want to say, no, I can't carry out your order. You will say like that. So, is it respect for you? Yes? Is what he says. Speak loudly. Nobody can hear. Prabhupada carried out the orders of his spiritual master. Do you understand? What his spiritual master said, he carried out. Do you understand? If the spiritual master's order is very strict order and very dangerous order also, so just will it not be carried out? No. Then you will disobey the spiritual master. Yeah. Yes. To need this body is meant to serve Krishna. If Krishna wants, huh? if your body will be finished, then Krishna will be pleased. Why don't you finish your body? Huh? What will please Krishna? That should be done. In Bhagavad Gita, you see, huh? Krishna wanted Arjuna to fight and kill. This kid and kill, that will please Krishna. This killing will please Krishna. Arjuna did it. He killed. Isn't it? First he was unwilling, but in heart. Huh? But Gita from the lips of Krishna, then he could understand, yes, this will please Krishna. So he killed. All his relatives, kids and kin, he killed. That killing will please Krishna. Sometimes Krishna also gets delight becomes delighted in killing also. So if Krishna wants that your body will be killed, then you will get pleased. Then why don't you kill your body? Well, disobey. Huh? So, I think you are very selfish. You won't only want to give pleasure to your body, not to Krishna. Whatever Krishna wants shall be done. Isn't it? If Krishna wants go to hell, we have to go to hell and suffer there. And if it pleases Krishna, won't you do it? Huh? Then going to hell and suffering there means is is uh, <laughs> like dying there. Then stand. Yes. Huh? Krishna says. What he says? That he would only enter fire if Krishna told him to. If Krishna says. Acha. If that old man says, you won't enter. <laughs> oh. So, do you hear what Krishna says? 
Can you hear what Krishna says? If he comes and talks, if he comes to you and talks, then you hear. Otherwise, say, oh, I won't hear. Isn't it? So does this story teach you this thing? If Krishna will come and tell me, do this thing, I'll do. Otherwise, I won't do. Huh? No. Story doesn't say so. Yes? That he said, what you saying, new thing. My question is, what do you learn from this story? Huh? You said to respect the elders. I say, what is that respect? Respect means what he says we must do without hesitation, without any deliberation, without adding any thought to it. Huh? No answering back. No answering back. Yes. Then, then we hesitate. No. If I enter into the fire, I will be burnt. I will die. Then how are you carrying out his order? So story says, this going is time is worth it. Let me say, this old monkey is the spiritual master. Do you understand? Do you understand spiritual master? Old monkey is the spiritual master. Who knows everything? Huh? He said, this danger is there. You'll be killed. And this young monkeys didn't listen to their spiritual master, so they are killed. Do you understand? So, whatever the spiritual master says, without any hesitation, we'll do it. That is beneficial for us. Do you understand? What do you say? What is it? He said the old monkey lived longer than the young monkeys, so he knew more than them. So he knew more than them because he was older. Yes, that I said. He, because he's older, there's much experience. And the story says, this is story that by this teaching is there, old monkey is their master, is their spiritual master, old one and spiritual master. Do you understand? With spiritual master, he is old. He is not old, as old. He is not the fact that he is only as old. He is Gyan Buddha. He is old in the knowledge. Do you understand? The two types of mm, old. One is as old, one is Gyan Buddha, who is old in knowledge. Do you understand? Uh, who has acquired this spiritual knowledge. If he, in age, he may be young, but he is treated as old. You should understand this thing. So, this whatever spiritual master say, one should obey it without hesitation, without adding any deliberation to it, any thought to it. Do you understand? Then that is beneficial to you. Yes? Huh? What if your spiritual master asks you to kill yourself? Yes, whatever he says you should do. As Krishna, Krishna is the spiritual master of Arjuna. The Krishna said, kill them. Huh? Kill. Arjuna killed. Do you understand? Yes. He didn't want to fight, but he had to because he was ordered by his spiritual master. Yes, that I say. What your spiritual master will say, you should do without hesitation. No hesitation is there. Your spiritual master will say, enter into the fire, you should enter. Isn't it? Huh? Do you know Lord Ram? Who is he? Yes? Huh? Yes, incarnation. Do you know Sita Devi? Who is she? Huh? Sita Devi is his wife. Lord Ram's wife, Sita Devi. Do you understand? That's all right, incarnation. She's his wife. The wife is supposed to be devoted 
to her husband. You understand? Husband means master. A devoted wife does what her husband says. So, the Lord Ram said, ah, Sita Devi told Sita Devi, enter into the fire. Sita Devi entered into the fire. Isn't it? Huh? She didn't hesitate. Oh, I'll die. She entered into the fire. Because the boy, her husband will be pleased. You understand? Husband is master. Like that. Spiritual master. Huh? What your spiritual master say, you should do without hesitation. Don't add any thought, any deliberation to it. That is beneficial to you. Do you understand? Do you know Parsura? Who is he? Yes? Krishna. Acha. Ah, oh, who is she is father? What is the name of his father? Huh? Can anybody say? Yes? Nanda Maharaj. Hey! Nanda Maharaj is father of Krishna, not father of Parsura. Huh? Yes? Jamdagini, yes. What is the name of his mother? Yes? No, no. Renuka, yes. So once Jamdagini told, asked Parsuram, chop up the head of your mother. Immediately he did. Immediately. Parsuram had an ask. Huh? Do you understand? Immediately he chopped up the head of her mother. She didn't say, how can I chop up the head of my mother? Shall I kill my mother? Shall I commit such great offense? Matru hatya dos? I'll go to hell. She didn't hesitate. Immediately chopped up. So, that means guru, Guru's order, spiritual master's order, Immediately carried out without any hesitation. That is beneficial. This you should learn. Thank you very much. Yes. If you carry out the order of a spiritual master, fire, fire cannot burn you. Do you understand? Yes, you will serve. But if you will hesitate, then you will be punished. Without hesitation, if you enter into the fire, fire will never burn you. Do you understand? Yes. <laughs> ah, I remember. Teaching in the Gurukula now. Acha. Oh, very nice. All right. Yeah, thank you for giving class. Go, go, go. I told this story. Students are, but they are better. You commented that 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 class that you hear would have been very good for the adults to hear as well. (laughs) Being a guru (laughs) and me. You said it would have been good for the adults to hear. Yes. As well as the children. Yes, hearing? Yeah. Very simple for the huh? very simple entrance. Because that's a child. You see, they cannot understand philosophy.